Mechanical Societies. They house 8.5% of the United States population, according to Power.org. These societies are recognized to function very differently than organic societies. They are known to be tight-knit, community-based, and traditional. This is a society that is untouched by the wrath of McDonaldization. In contrast to organic societies like New York that house millions of people, the town of Folks Run has just under 1,800 residents. To better explain what a mechanical society looks like, I decided to travel there myself and take a closer look. Upon arrival, I noticed a single restaurant and gas station. No other businesses exist near this microscopic town in Rockingham County. To many who live in an organic society, this may seem strange and unbearable. However, looking past the relative solidarity, we can see the true benefits of the small mechanical society. In particular, this town relies heavily on self-sufficiency. Farm animals are raised by many families locally to eat or sell. Nothing here is McDonaldized. Milk and cheese are fresh from cows or goats, and eggs are laid each day for tomorrow's breakfast. On a larger scale, mechanical societies and organic societies function differently in several ways. First, organic societies are large and industrialized. In contrast, mechanical societies like Folks Run are rural and closer to primitive. In reference to Dr. Peaksme's lecture, the mechanical society would function as a small division of labor, making an entire chair, for example. Whereas, an organic society would have a large division of labor in charge of making different parts of a chair. Despite the apparent collective conscience of the town, represented by several signs in support of specific political candidates, Folks Run was a refreshing destination.